three, three and a half years ago, maybe four, maybe four. And remember I had that surgery, I had the tummy tuck, sharp. you know, I've always been honest. So we were getting ready to film and he thought I needed him. And so, you know, this took a shower, put on some clothes and left. And Beige one was like, where's he going? He need to film with his wife. So when he showed me that, he thought I needed him. <laughs> I had to show that. I sent that to his mama house for five months. You want to be like that? And I'm the breadwinner. Go over there with them roaches. <laughs> <laughs> and here your mama got there. <laughs> okay. All right. Go over there in the hood with roaches and rats. And you live like that in the hole in the wall. I had to show him. I had to show him. Boom. I'm the reason why you living good, okay? So yeah, that's why y'all don't see him no more. But I'll bring him back. But I hope he learned his lesson. I'm that done daughter. I am that done daughter. And I deserve to be loved. I deserve respect. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. It's okay when couples disagree. But you got to learn how to fuss. How to not get along. You don't call your wife a bitch. No, no, no. You ain't finna handle me like that. And I ain't gonna lie. Call him what? Gotta be you, Putin. Um, yeah, I went upside his head. To my, take your put, take your hands off of me. Don't curse me, nigga. I don't play that. You ain't finna disrespect me, cause I got, I got them paws. Who you think Scrappy got his paws from? <laughs> hmm. I will go upside their head, boo. I'll let you guys have it. <laughs> and in that order, for real. Like, I can't, like, no, you're not, no, I'm supposed to be your wife. You respect your mama, you're going to respect me. I don't play that shit. Mm-mm. Baby, I hope hell freeze over if I take this, take a shit. I'm not doing it. My mama raised me. I'm educated. No. No, I'm not. I don't have to put up with that. No, and I won't. Mm, ain't no big enough, wide enough, boo. Go, baby, I go get me a, a Though with two double A batteries and hum, 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 all night, baby. Uh uh. And wash it off and put it back in the box and put it on the goddamn closet shelf. Don't play with me. <laughs> it's low waist skin, a cat girl. Girls, girls. <laughs> Period. Yes, God in the house. I don't play that. Yeah. Yeah, I see the core. <laughs> Love it, y'all. Facts, because women take a lot of things that we shouldn't take. And sometimes we do them for the kids or we do it because we've been with them. We're, we're used to them. We have to search our own souls and search our minds and our hearts. And because we deserve so much respect, because as women, we bring life into the earth. We do. When, let me tell you something. A woman... Pushes out and develops a whole brain inside her womb. She she pushes out this baby that she's been carrying. They got organs and all this stuff. Um, and then a man come and want to verbalize them, mental and physically. See, when a man put his hand on a woman, he tears down the very fiber of his own being. Do you understand? Because God made us the the, the beginning. He made us the carrier of life. And you have to respect that. And I know women get crazy, they jump stupid men. Please don't 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 take it like that. I know some women are stupid. I know a couple of them. <clears throat> and they from LA, from Compton. But let me tell you. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. But when you get into those type of relationships, don't ever tell a person you're getting ready to leave. You make a plan. And you leave. Not while they're there. Because that's the most dangerous time for a woman. You don't tell a man, I'm finna go. I'm taking the kids. Or I'm finna leave. Or start packing in front of his face. Because he might not see his wrongness. While he's doing you. And he feels like you abandoned him. Or you just gonna pack your shit. And, leave. and then they flip. So if you gonna leave. You leave where I work. Okay. And if he down, you call the police. Don't even let him know you call the police. Go in the bathroom, run the water, shower. Call the police. When the police knock on the door, they right there in his face. Tell him, give you 30 minutes, pack your shit, and let's go. Or have him escorted if it's your spot.